Hey guys, welcome to To See or Not To See, and today we're going to be talking about Kung Fu Panda 3. Now first off, before I begin, if you're wondering what I thought of the first two Kung Fu Panda movies, I love them. I love the animation, I love the story, I love the characters, the voice acting, the music, everything about them. They were very good movies. It's very rare that you see movies from other studios that are not Disney get this much effort put into them and come out good. So for Kung Fu Panda 3, I was a little bit, you know, worried because like usually sequels don't do that well to kids' movies. Either they are like, either the second one's really good and the third one just you know, blows, or, you know, or none of the sequels are good. But, you know, that's what I was thinking of this one. It's like, okay, maybe they're milking this too much. Maybe they should have quit while they were ahead. But no, Kung Fu Panda 3 is actually a really good movie. The, again, the voice acting, the music, everything. I really love the characters. I love the way the characters evolve in all the movies. They actually, like, they build on the last movie, and that's what's great. That's what a good sequel does. Um, I really like the character of Poe. Everything is really good in this movie. They really, they really wrap things up for a trilogy in this movie. That's just what I wanted to say. It's like, they really wrap things up, and I really hope that this is the last one, that they don't keep making them because it's to me like the whole story of the Kung Fu Panda thing kind of really neatly ties up in this movie and I really like that I really like that they've done that I really like that they put the effort into it and I really do hope that um, this is the last one because like this is so this is a great movie I mean I really do think it's great the animation is top-notch it's got some beautiful visuals I love the voice acting you know this everybody in it the characters like I said they they build on the last movies and they evolve the characters which is really good and it's nice to see movies do that. Like, good sequels build on the character. Jack Black is as likable as ever as Poe. I mean, you really like him, you know. It's just like, you see his character grow, and you see everybody else grow. You see Angelina Jolie's Tigress character grow. You see everybody. As for the bad guy in this movie, I really like him. I think his name is Kai. Um, he's voiced by J.K. Simmons, and I love the music that comes on screen every time he comes around. It's so cool. And Hans Zimmer did the music. I mean, Hans Zimmer seems to be like the new John Williams of this this era. I mean, he's composing such great music, and it's really great to see that. So yeah, I loved everything about this movie. I really liked it. I think it's a great movie to take your kids to. You know, it's a good family picture. It's nice to see movies meant for kids that also like appeal to adults, too. Like The, the writing is good enough to where it appeals to kids and adults, and that's what really I think I like the most about this movie. My 11-year-old sister liked it, so I know your kids will like it, too. I think it was a great movie. I definitely give it a 2C, because it's kicking. Get it? Kicking? Because karate? You know, kicking karate? Alright, I'll shut up now. So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.